you guys know that the radio infotainment speaker everything set up in these trucks is no good actually that's an understatement it's terrible terrific but you guys don't need me to tell you that you already know so one of the absolute first things I did when I bought this truck was upgrade the stereo the infotainment system you name it whatever I put a 12 inch Android tablet style radio in there worked flawlessly I absolutely loved it and then I actually recently upgraded to the newer 14 inch version which is just that much nicer not only is it newer brighter faster it just looks better it has that slight up kick at the top it just looks more modern and I couldn't be any happier with it and this truck has the Bose premium sound system you know what they say no highs no lows probably a Bose to be fair it sounds fine but it's lacking a lot in the bass department that's what I'm gonna upgrade to today I'm also gonna go over some things with the radio cuz I get plastered with comments about that thing so I try to help you guys out as much as I can I've got another awesome gadget to install in the truck while we're at it and that is this Ultimate 9 throttle controller. Yes, this tiny little thing here paired with this plug and play. I'm gonna put that in a Duramax and get some better throttle response out of it. Not only better, but more controllable. You can use this little controller here that comes with it to change the modes or the response or the settings, or you can also download the app and use your phone instead. As you'll see here, this is completely plug and play. It takes about five minutes to install, if that. Plus it has a lifetime replacement warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. Now, I didn't run my wires yet, but you see that took all of 30 seconds to install. Now, this isn't just for Duramaxes. It isn't just for Silverados. This will work for a ton of makes and models. So make sure to check out their website to get one for your vehicle. And I also have a discount code for you guys. Use discount code MAT10 to get 10% off your own throttle controller. This is an awesome little mod and unit for this truck. I love how tiny it is and how you can literally stick this thing anywhere. You guys can see where I mounted it there. It's super clean, it's so small, and they thought of everything. They put a USB-C port on either side of the controller so you can mount it in a location that works for you. I'm definitely gonna test out all the different throttle modes. You can tell, like, Putting it in valet, how the throttle is slower. You put, you put it in Ultimate 9, how much faster it is. Big thanks to Ultimate 9 for the sponsorship. Make sure to use discount code MATT10 for 10% off. I'll have a link in the description box. I don't think there's anything in this box. No, there's not. This is GM, well, should I say, Kickers accessory subwoofer kit. Comes with all the wiring, comes with the sub. Obviously, the amp is built onto the sub box. It fits underneath the rear seat. It's pretty easy to install and just gives that little nice touch of base that I think the truck needs. I installed essentially the same thing in my 2022 Silverado ZR2, and I was very pleased with it. These are expensive, but in my opinion, it was worth it because you're not hacking up any factory wiring, at least not really. So with that being said, it's time to install. A reminder that you guys have till the end of August to enter for your chance to win this Milwaukee bag and of course the contents inside, which is a 3 8 impact, 3 8 high speed ratchet, charger, just hit myself in the eye, and two batteries. And all you have to do to win any of that is go to boostedapexdesigns.com, pick a shirt, pick a sweatshirt, pick a hat, pick a key tag, spend $5, every $5 you spend is a chance to win that whole kit. I've got Duramax stuff on there, E36 stuff, Porsche stuff, generic stuff. And I don't have my stupid name plastered all over any of it. So thanks for the support, guys. Back to the video.
Thankfully, the GM instructions for this kit are pretty straightforward and clear. You basically hook the ring terminal up on the positive side of the battery on the passenger side and then run that power cable along the existing cable at the back of the firewall near the cab. And then it has to go through a grommet, obviously, to get into the cab of the truck. This is almost exactly like the one I installed on the 2022 Silverado ZR2. Except that one, it ran through the firewall on the passenger side. So I'm getting there guys, but I'm running out of daylight. But I got it fed through the firewall down to the footwell area. A couple connections I gotta make up there, and I gotta you know, wrap the cable all the way back. There was a ground cable that got connected to a factory bolt there. Good work, cameraman. And then you have to find two specific colored wires. I assume they're speaker wires and you have to install T-taps on them, which connect to this subwoofer harness. And I believe that's how it actually gets the audio. All right, connections are done up here. Pull the door sills off, and now I'm in the process of getting the wires run back cleanly. Still leaving everything kind of loose till I get the final position, final position of everything. It's time to stick the sub in there. This is bolt. Guessing the previous owner had dogs in here. There are certainly quite a few ways to run these wires back to the sub. I didn't exactly follow the GM procedure because I actually had to cut a little hole in the carpet, which I didn't really want to do. So I found my own path and it actually worked out really well, really easy to run the cable. The hardest part was getting my arm far enough underneath the carpet to reach it where I could find the first hole. Now that everything was wrapped up and wired, what I should have done was actually test the system, but I decided, eh, there aren't that many points of failure, so I decided to wrap everything up, get all the trim panels back on, tighten up the zip ties under the engine bay, cut off the loose ends, connect the batteries, and we're ready to try it. All right, it did get dark on us last night, so quick wrap up and finish of the install, and then we'll test it out. Now I'm hoping my Viva floor mat, I think it could still go under here. Just gonna have to kind of shove it in there a bit, I guess. Because I do like this protection a lot. That's for sure. Yes, sir, that'll work. Okay, wiring is all done, as you guys can see here. No trace of the wire comes up in there. I zip tied it up because there's a little bit extra. It runs down here along the door sill back in behind this and then it runs along with this door sill and then under the door sill which you can't see about here I ran it under the carpet and you can't see that at all either and then I brought it out of the carpet right here 
and then it just goes over, goes behind the seat buckles, and plugs in. Super clean, really, really easy to install. Would highly recommend it. I mean, look at it. You can't even tell that it's there, and it's OEM. OEM kicker. So if we start up here, this power cable plugs in here underneath the cover, obviously. Then it runs along here, and I have it zip-tied along the cable back there. So you follow that along, you see there, then it runs down, and then it goes, I have it going right on top of the grommet, because I already had wire going in up top there. You could cut the grommet, but I didn't do that. I just kind of ran it up top. But other than that, there's really no trace of it up here at all. All right, let's test it out. I don't see why it wouldn't work. That sounds awesome. I haven't even done any tuning or anything on it yet. I know you can't really convey it over YouTube, but the bass from this little sub and amp combo is just right in my opinion. It's actually more powerful than I thought it would be, and overall, overall, sir, overall. the sound system in this truck is better than my 2022 Silverado ZR2, which was fully loaded with Bose and a similar kicker sub. This old truck just sounds better. Overall, install, very easy, sound very good. Real quickly, I want to go over some things with the 14 inch head unit because you guys have a bunch of questions. Whether you're new here or you're old here, there always seem to be questions on this unit. I've had it for a few months now. I've had zero issues. Have there been a, a quirk or two? Yeah, sure. Like sometimes the voice control will think that I said, hey Siri or something, it'll pop up, but that's no big deal. You just click out of it. But steering wheel controls work. Obviously, the sub works, all the controls work. I got people saying, hey, my volume control knob doesn't work. I got people saying the volume buttons on the steering wheel don't work. I have guys saying I don't have any kind of sound at all. I don't work for the company that makes this. I have no involvement with them. The only involvement I have is they sent me the unit to install and review, and that's what I've done. So if you have technical questions, reach out to their customer support. I am not customer support in any way, shape, or form, but I do try to answer questions as much as I can. With that being said, please, before you ask me questions, watch the install video of this fully and also watch my review video fully. That means from start to end. And I'm not saying that to try to get more views. I'm saying that because I explain everything in those two videos. How to get the aux cord to work, because you have to have this little aux cord dongle plugged in for it to work. I know that sounds weird, but you do. I explain all of that stuff, including how to make sure your video camera works, so please, do me a favor and watch both of those. Then you can hit me up with questions, and if I can't answer it, hit up technical support. But overall, no issues with this thing. Absolutely love it. I don't see how you could get a better head unit for these trucks. As always, guys, links for everything that I use on this truck will be in the description box, including the 14-inch head unit and the sub-amp combo and the throttle controller from Ultimate 9. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in another video.